So you think it's celebrate or what? Yeah. We actually have a real double smash happening now, guys. More cloud. There's only one of them this time, though. Oh. We got some polish strats going on here. <laughs> the ultimate mind games. God, I hate my laugh sometimes. It's like, that kind of thing, I feel like I'm breathing out like, like, it's all right. There's an echoey factor on there, so everyone can hear it twice. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, going to Smashville. Hell yeah. Normal starting stage. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the best stage, honestly. <laughs> no, not. But, have you seen Sheik? No, no, no. It's not the best stage. Not as long as Sheik builds the thing. No. <laughs> Sheik has a large advantage. On the stage. Yeah. The amount of power she can do with that weapon. That, ooh, back air. Sometimes I think about the way that his uh, weird limit loss recovery would stay. It'd be nice if the KO punch meter could be used more for recovery with Little Max. Right, like it was, if it could get him over. But... Yeah, like um, like if he could expend the KO punch for vertical height when he's in the air. That'd be nice. Ooh, they make up. Throw. Kiki's first box gone. Uh -oh. Trying to get a read with that boost kick, but that doesn't work. Nope. Oh, oh stage spike. Was that untackable? No, it was. You sure? It was tackable. Yeah. It I, was... Some, I saw something about you can always tell when it's tackable by some visual cue, but I never really... I think it's like based off of like multi-hit. Yeah, maybe. Like, I know that like uh, Roy's up B is like untackable. Mm -hmm. I know if like I were to fall off and do a uh, corner in the stage with Dr. Close enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. If Dr.'s main strength is edge guarding. Well, oh, Frost Ash is going to take... Mario out, but not the original victim. Okay. That's what happens when you run into things. Yeah, don't run into cross slash kids. Yeah. Mary across the stage. Almost yeah. got the game. Oh my. Back air. Trying to take it. Trying to cave the boost kick. Mm -hmm. They didn't actually boost kick. And wow. the Raptor boost is going to take it. Mm -hmm. That's shot. always such a good option when run back uh, Raptor boost. If mm -hmm. people don't expect it, it can, it can, it can do wonders. Mm -hmm. Especially when you can't get the kill. Mm -hmm. With like, Falcon, like once his setups stop working, I mean he has raw KO power. It's just like you want to kill with the setup. Mm -hmm. Oh, then he cares that stroke. These up air nair combos are not looking good for A22 right now. Not at all. Being completely tossed around by Cloud. Especially considering that uh, that Ryan will be warmed up on the Mario matchup right now, considering the last match of those. Mm -hmm. Double Marios. Actually, that's, that's, that's the problem with like, trying to get something on that cross slash. I feel like that's the problem with like, the, um, the amount of like, you would really not do sometimes. It's just you're always prepared for that matchup, considering that you always want to see it more coming than any other matchup. Ooh, that was a nice combo. <laughs> and it just occurred to me that Bob just lost his first stock. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Why it lost his stock? Oh no. Maybe the comeback will happen. Why did you. Oh! Yeah. Yep. Right. Stage trumps and back here is always a good option. I got another discussion with Tier, so I feel like that's the benefit. It's like one of the few benefits low tier players get. And that mm -hmm. people aren't going to be prepared for the matchup. And it's not a character like, let's say, Zelda or something. Right. Like, it's not going to be as much of an issue. Like, if you're playing in low mid tier, like, why is there a hit switch? Okay. Interesting change up. But if you're, um, if you're playing like a character that's like a low mid tier, like Falco, let's say, people aren't prepared for the matchup. And I don't feel like Falco is a non functioning character. 
he's on the borderline of it, but you can kind of like rely on people not being as versed in the match. Uh -huh. That's why I like a lot of people can get caught by short hop forward airs and thunder, because they forget the amount of multi hits and the fact that there's landing hitbox. Yeah. That's why you can use it sometimes, even though it's not safe to do it. Alright, see where they're going. Oh, I'm out of field. Alright, well, the cloud in the mix, huh? Yeah, well. Let's we'll right. see. That up air will be useful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it never is. Doesn't get even once up that down throw. Nope. Limit to the up smash. Maybe we'll, we'll see some good snipes already with our medium. Nice and safe. I never knew that up air to uh, up tilt with Captain Falcon was a combo. I mean, that's an amazing. Falling up air and up tilt? Yeah. Yeah. Falling up air is a combo. Ooh. Ooh, boost kit spike. Let's go. Oh. Right, getting not, Ezio off the stage. Not I want him to recover. Yeah. Oh, I was like, when I see Clash try to play off stage a little bit. We just want to see that with limits on the optional line, though. Ooh, Ooh! Good use of the shields! Yeah, guarding orbiters to push off. Mm -hmm. Especially considering that Cloud's head will all the time poke up above the uh, stage and tries to recover. Mm -hmm. Really is <laughs> He's trying to snipe. He turns to trying to snipe. He tries to recover. He's not working out well. But E22 and AGO are holding the lead right now. Hopefully they can keep it. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Zero's tier list. What do you think of Zero's tier list so far? Huh? You know what? It's not bad. I mean, like, the only things I've, like, said, like, things about is, like, you know, he has, like, Shulk and, like, some other characters, like, a bit high where it doesn't make sense. But, you know, I honestly feel that he's got the right idea about most of them. Because I just remember on Twitter when he was talking about his tier list, he said immediately before that, he was criticizing the background list, and he said something like, Little Mac is not a low tier. And then when he got to his low tiers in his tier list, Little Mac was a low tier. It makes sense, though. So. It makes sense. It's just, like... Consistency, zero. Consistency. <laughs> also, by the time he gets to top tiers, like, I feel like I know Zero, and he's not gonna put Diddy in top, like, two. I don't feel like he will, just because, for some reason, he always underrates Diddy. I still feel like Diddy's one of the top characters. I feel like Diddy might be like, the game, especially yeah. in neutral, honestly. Because once he gets the banana, there's really nothing you can do. Like, if he has a banana in his hand, it's like, he has the best one to do, so... I'm actually really happy where he put Yoshi too. Everyone overrates yeah, Yoshi. Everyone does. I mean, yeah, he has a lot of priority and everything like that, but weird. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Know, I don't really know how to criticize Yoshi. It's just. And having a uh, Bowser and uh, Donkey Kong in uh, upper tier was an interesting choice. It's interesting. It's probably because they can make a lot. They can take a lot of uh, benefits from range. Oh wow. At, uh, HGO and E22 together. Oh, Double Hunt is still in bracket, everyone. Double <laughs> Duck Hunt is still a possibility on stream. Trying to use these arrows to snipe out his recovery. Mm -hmm. Not working. Oh, worked that time. We're going to yep, take it. There yep, we go. Let's go take it. Alright, E22 and E22. One more. I think we might see a character change now. Maybe. You can see the old white donkey on. <laughs> Missed that DK. Oh wow, despite not taking a stock, it doesn't look like... Yeah. No switches, no, alright. You wanna shoot back to Bowser? Oh. What? Nope. Maybe. Oh, he switches? Yep. 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 Alright. I was actually super we not surprised. Lose anymore. <laughs> Town, Town City. City, right? Town City has a higher ceiling, right? Yeah, I think it does. Oh. It's just, um, I'm more thinking off of the platform at this point. Mm hmm. I'm wondering how intense this would be for our last set. Uh, I mean, we got a Bayo here along with the Zero Suit, so we got like two characters who are incredibly punishing. Mm -hmm. 
I've mean, never seen Bayo do like very well in double kills. Neither have I, but Dom almost dug it. Mm -hmm. Baron is definitely a better character for one on one. Considering the way your combos link together, if you get a rough that she really doesn't have what she would do. <laughs> yeah, it's undoubtable. Like, other than that. Imagine, imagine which time we're more useful in doubles. True. Because you can catch things. Ooh. Yeah. Falcon. Ooh, and. Ooh. Yeah. Nope, not gonna take it. Oh, it's, right. it's living. It has wings, so, like, you gotta got get it. Mm hmm. He's always gonna get back. Mm -hmm. And just like Bayo, they can almost get back from anywhere on the screen. Bayonetta has no problems with her at all. Like, I remember when she released and I looked at this character and like, how do you edge this character? I understand you can intercept things, but still. Right. Like, I don't mind the fact that I'm like an inch away from the blast zone, the bottom right corner or anything like that. I can get back. It's fine. <laughs> I think there even was a skill where you could actually double jump during a uh, witch twist. Yeah, and I you remember could jump those. again. I remember those. Yeah. I remember day one Bayonetta and just, she felt weird to me. Yeah. She just felt so different than every other character. Because uh -huh. right now I'm a fan of like, the Bayonetta games, and I saw how slow her run speed was and how awkward she felt to move around with. Really. She didn't really feel like my fun, she didn't feel like. Mm. To be fair, I never thought Bayonetta would be in this game. I was I go to the Shantae, because Shantae is Shantae. But it looks like this may have been actually a good choice on a... May have been. Riot and Kiki's... They are holding it they together. Are holding it. I mean, it's probably also because of the Bayo switch. Yeah, it's up here, right? Oh, that Bordeaux's gonna take it. Mm -hmm. But then again, I feel like a lot of people still don't know like, how to go against Bayonetta. No, I remember when I was in CDO and like, um... Uh, Again, I was playing Gaga Punch. I was still playing Gaga Punch because I wanted to. Oh, wow. That was a intense combo. Strange as hell. But I remember in CEO when I was trying to see a bar to do Gaga, and the first person I ran into was a Bayonetta player, a winner, and then they all thought this would be terrible. Sure enough, it was terrible. It was not a game, alright? Yeah, finish it off. It was terrible because I couldn't really do any other combos to do Gaga's way. And it, even though it wants to be weird, she can still move better than I can. Sharing the stock, this is gonna be difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dawson does have a comeback pack. All he needs is a good confirmed to me, really. And, well, he's not gonna get it. Yeah, but that team I, play he there. He can take his. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that nice ass on 